equity scheduling tutorial hi guys welcome back today i am going to show you around equity scheduling how to use equity scheduling and how you can create a booking website so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply come to equityscheduling.com and you will land on this platform right here equity is an amazing platform that allows you to create your own booking and scheduling website it works with squarespace and other platforms it allows you to create your own scheduling website and run a business online so today i will show you how you can do that as a complete beginner the process is super easy and super fun so let's get started the first step is needed to sign in first for equity if you have ever signed up for squarespace then you don't need to sign up here as well simply if you have created here you don't need to sign up for squarespace so i'm going to click on it right now and i'm going to sign up or if you want to just take two minutes and try it now you can just click on it and it will take you here create your own account and uh, you can see there are two options continue with google continue with email or more options obviously facebook and apple so i'm going to log in with google account so now you have signed in and you will land on this page which can be confusing for some people but i am here to guide you you can either go for a new trial where you can create your own website and you will add your own scheduling into it as you can see we have four steps over here set your availability create appointment types add scheduling to your website and sync with other calendars so right now we are at the first step of the scheduling which is set your availability obviously i have done this before but i'm going to do it again i'm going to close and i'm going to go at the default position where everyone was everything was so what i'm going to do now now i'm going to set some time for every week uh, for my availability so right now as you can see here that sayyid imran set us for availability yes i want to set that so i'm going to check here i have regular hours every week so i'm going to check here and as you can see we have the whole week over here from sunday to saturday obviously saturday sunday i am closed i'm not going to work on saturday sunday but yes as you can see here monday i can edit this that i am available from 10 a.m to 3 p.m only on mondays so whenever someone sees this they they already know that i am not available after 3 p.m or before 10 a.m i have to contact for this service on monday in these timings same goes with tuesday wednesday thursday friday so as obviously you can customize every single one of them obviously and uh, like i'm going to set here like 9 9 a.m to 12 p.m so tuesday i'm available for tuesday but only for three hours uh same goes with wednesday obviously you can customize you can add some message if you want or if you don't want it's on you so this is the whole about the availability of your press uh, of your service so you just go ahead and save from here next thing you can see here calendar scheduling limits we are going towards that section now so in this section we can see the first step do not allow clients to schedule fewer than so obviously we want 12 hours in advance and more than not more than uh, 365 days obviously because this is a lot this is a, this is a whole year I'm going with seven days in the future. So this is the time we are going to set. Do not allow clients to cancel or reschedule appointment less than 24 hours. Obviously they have to wait for canceling the appointment or rescheduling. So they need to wait for 24 hours. Appointments per time slot, we can set one or we can set more than any much you want. And if we see here, maximum appointments, accept appointments until fully booked accept a max number of appointments max hours max numbers max number per day off max number per week off so you can just set uh, whatever you like to do for your services and just go and save this once you save this this will be 
add it to your website now if we go so if we click on create appointments types now this is the second step it will lead you right here and you ha have to add new type of service so you just going to click on it and you can set a new service if you want uh, like uh, obviously it's giving an example like aromatherapy so we can just write that aromatherapy um, you can set the duration you can set the price if you want like 20 30 dollar i don't know the actual price i'm just going to give an example for and you can add your images if you want you can add this you can keep it private for yourself and you can public it and you just create a new appointment and then we have the third option which is uh, add the scheduling page to your website so obviously i'm not going to do that because i don't have a website so once you go in here you will find everything is very uh, normal for you and you can add your business etc etc i don't have a website so i can do that but obviously you can see this is a very normal thing like you can add a logo you can add your business name monthly daily you can add this is a very generic thing you can add details over here along with your website and then we are going with the sync with other calendars so what you're going to do here you can add a calendar uh, with your scheduling so obviously if you want to connect with google calendar icloud outlook office outlook exchange outlook.com so these are the just calendar you can sync with the uh, scheduling so you just need to connect here with your google id and it will be connected so this is the whole point of this scheduling in equity and this is very easy as you can see you just need to put your details in it your your timings your services your daily hours your availability and that's it this is what you have to do and thank you for watching i hope you will understand and you will be able to do this in the future thank you and if you ever like to come back and try to adjust your uh, services and uh, your scheduling you can always come back and this will show you how do you want to use scheduling you can start a new one or you can go with the old one you have created just click on it and just go ahead and uh, click on the next on bottom right corner and if you have clicked uh, new scheduling for accidentally and you end up here you don't have to go back and log in again you know so you, what you're gonna do you going you're gonna go here on these three lines just click on it you can see the logo over here the squarespace logo uh, here just click on it this will lead to your dashboard here you can see your all scheduling for your all websites so you can create also here or you can start continuing your old scheduling.